Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the newest fa uh, Fast and Furious movie that is um, Fast and Furious 6 which I got on Orange Wednesdays uh, so I got it for like cheaper price um, so Fast and Furious 6 stars Vin Diesel, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Paul Walker, Ludacris, Tyrus Gibson, Gina Carano, Jordana Brewster um, and Luke Evans and right at the end with Jason Statham as a cameo so yeah, um, basically the story of Fast and Furious 6 is it kind of comes off Rio. They've all got their, um, their like millions of, pa of of dollars, you know, like Paul Walker. He's had a kid with Jordana Brewster. Uh, Vin Diesel's just looking out for like Paul Walker and Jordana Brewster and the kid and just like, you know, chilling with his money. Ludacris is off in like um, Spain, whatever, just like, you know, using his money. So it's Tyrese Gibson and um, the Chinese guy and whatever. I don't know his the actor's name anyway. I think he's called Han. Uh, so you guys have only actually seen uh, Fast Five and Fast Furious Six, so I don't really know much. To, all I know is um, Vin Diesel, The Rock, and Paul Walker. To be honest, that's the only actual like um, people like I know who play them or whatever. Um, but I know the people in this film, obviously. So yeah, uh, Fast Furious Six is directed by Justin Lin, and basically it tells the tale of after they've all had their Brazilian kind of um, heist in Rio from Fast Five. If you probably probably have seen this, if you're gonna watch this movie. Um, the Luke Evans, who is like this, the villain of the film, <coughs> the main like um, antagonist, protagonist, or whatever. Um, he has this like microchip, which is um, like worth billions of, of of dollars to like the the army, and they're trying to get it back. So they go to London, and basically like shitloads of car chases and action scenes and epic, you know, blowing up and all that. And then yeah, just the film just kicks off a basically two hours of just fun thrill ride. I don't really want to give much of the plot away because it might spoil the film for some. But yeah, um, just really great escapism film. You know, anything with, you know, The Rock in body oil, uh, in baby oil, you know, tanned up and just smashing people and Vin Diesel, rugby tackling people and cars blowing up and planes smashing and blowing up and car stunts and flips and shootings and action scenes and, oh man. It's a great, great, great action film. Really, really, really did enjoy this one. I thought it was really, really, just really fun. Like, escapism film, just to be in, like, a dark cinema with a bunch of people you don't know, just watching, you know, Vin Diesel kick ass and blowing up cars. Just really, really, really fun, you know, experience. To watch it in the cinema as well was just really, really good. So, yeah, this film did actually come out, like, a week prior to me watching it, but um, I was still having major jet lag from my holiday, so literally I was just like, I don't know, I didn't watch uh, any movies for about two weeks running, actually. Yeah, um, obviously I'm watching them now again. But yeah, I just really, really did like Fast and Furious 6. I think all the actors were really, really good. Um, I reckon Fast 7 is going to be... Oh, I just cannot wait for Fast and Furious 7. I mean, I've got to watch, obviously, the first Fast and Furious. I haven't actually seen the first Fast and Furious film. I've seen bits of it. I haven't seen it from start to finish, which I will. Um, I mean, fuck Tokyo Drift. I don't know what that is. Uh, apparently there's, like, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, nobody's in it. It's just like uh, a bunch of random Korean actors or whatever. Yeah, but basically, I really, really did enjoy Fast and Furious 6. I highly recommend you go and watch it. Um, you know, I think it's even better than G.I. Joe Retaliation, which The Rock also stars in. And The Rock is just really, really making himself as a, for an actor now. You know, Snitch, Faster, G.I. Joe Retaliation, Fast and Furious 5, Fast and Furious 6, um, The Scorpion King, Walking Tall, Welcome to the Jungle... Um, pain and gain, you know, that guy is just really, really making a name for himself. You know, he used to be, like, say, five, ten years ago, The Rock, the wrestler, that's who everyone known as. Now they're known as Dwayne Johnson, or Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because he's now becoming more of an actor than he is a wrestler. Uh, because, you know, he made loads, he's made loads of good action films, and yeah, I think this is one of his best. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this review of Fast and Furious 6. I highly recommend this film, and yeah, I cannot wait for the next, for part, part 7. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.